Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next Phillies video as they made a slew of a couple moves on Friday. One was claiming a guy that's really been bunkered down by injuries, Kent Emanuel, from the Houston Astros, who did have a good start to his MLB career and then went out with an injury again, plus putting guys on the 40-man roster to avoid the Rule 5 draft. Those guys put on the 40-man roster with Luis Garcia, infielder, outfielder Jalen Ortiz, and a solid right-hander in James MacArthur. Makes sense the Phillies put all those guys in the 40-man roster from paying attention to the MILB. I like watching in hockey and baseball. I two main sports from the ground up as much as I can if time allows. Those are guys you all want to be able to keep. They're guys that are developing at different rates, albeit Luis Garcia and Jalen Ortiz. Obviously, Jalen uh, out of that group. Um, as a position player, is the closest to potentially being ready if he can become a better contact guy along with his power. And then Luis Garcia is a very good picket player already in the infield that you want to continue to see develop with the bat. Sounds a little bit familiar to when you see scouting reports just with a higher upside. I think if he really hits it, then a Freddie Galvis. And then you also have James MacArthur, who has very solid stuff, who's going to continue to develop. So you don't want to let go of any good pitching depth, obviously, like I just said in my video. That I did on us acquiring Sands and Nelson. You always want to bring in as much pitching depth as possible and catching depth because you need catch to be able to manage that staff really well behind the plate just as much as you need guys to shove it at the um, pitcher's mound. So the Phillies, when it comes to getting Kent Emanuel, get a former third rounder who had a 255 ERA and a 13 to 4 strikeouts to walks ratio. Um, through his first 17 and two-thirds innings. So when it comes to this guy, you don't have as much of the conversation like you do with Ryan Sheriff, Jose Alvarado, and Nick Nelson. Needs to harness control, control, control. This guy's actually a pretty good crafty lefty who already does have really solid control when he's at his best. But he had to go on the primary repair surgery on his left elbow back in June. That missed the rest of the season for him. And then based off of previous injuries for that, um, he's likely to be back sometime next season in the beginning, and maybe if he comes back on the shorter end of the stick, could maybe compete for a spot at the beginning of the year. That's more wishful thinking, but he definitely should be back early in the season, and it's always good, particularly, like I said, to add pitching depth. It's even better to add lefty pitching depth because you can never have enough good south poles, especially when they're becoming less prevalent in today's game due to Rob Manfred, the commissioner, putting in that three-batter rule. But this is a guy that, too, not just this season, the reason he made his debut at 28, he was probably on track to make it quicker, particularly because he's a very solid, again, good, solid, crafty lefty. He went through Tommy John surgery where he missed a lot of a chunk of his earlier career, which put him back. Plus, then he had an 80-game PED suspension, which I can't really fully blame a guy for when he's coming back and really he's going through all that adversity he's probably using something to try to work his way back quicker since he had Tommy John and he's had all these injuries to just try to get the hell back on the field to be able to prove himself to be able to get up which he's finally done and then of course he goes down again so I'm not gonna there's some situations where I really get on guys for taking PDs this is not one of those cases um he's a guy that I think is going to be able to developing himself um, into a pretty solid um, pitcher when it comes to a lefty. He already has been in the minors. He's already been solid in the majors in a short stint in 17 and two-thirds inning. But he's a lefty that I think you're going to be able to potentially have on the team for a couple years, just like we did with a guy like Adam Morgan, and he'll at least be at that level where you see really hot stretches from him. And then you see some off stuff, just like you did with most relief pitchers, other than the best of the best ones, because relief pitching... Is one of the most roller coastery things, if not actually is the most probably roller coaster thing in a sport. Where one year you have a guy with a two three, the next year he has a five three ERA, then the next year he goes back to being great, and then the one year he's the greatest pitcher in baseball. So like relief pitching is so weird and so back and forth. I think Kent Emanuel going through adversity in his career, whether it's PEDs or injuries, and being able to learn and grow and mature from that, that's all good and well stuff. And he also being able to pitch well and get a feel for things, and a good feel for things in his cup of coffee after having a four-something career minor league ERA with some really good seasons mixed in. He's able to then come up as a former third-rounder and pitch really well and show why he was a third-round talent. And now we're going to get him. We're going to try to have him come in 
and have another small move, just like we added Nick Nelson, of course, to the pitching staff. You're trying to get this to be a small move that maybe can become a larger move, just like you see the Astros, Braves, Rays, uh, the uh, Cardinals for a while. Teams like that make small moves or waiver pickups that turn into solid output players for their team that are good pieces of the puzzle for their team. That is what the Philly hope, obviously, Emmanuel and Nick Nelson turn into. And in the future, potentially, Sands, maybe as a backup catcher, who's developing at a good rate um, from the Yankee system and is now coming over into our system. Plus, we added Garrett Stubbs as well, who probably is on track with Nat being outrighted unless it more cans around and makes the opening day roster to be the backup. But I think with the adding these catching depth, that was because, like I said in my previous video, to maybe move more con for something else we need. But this was smart to claim Kent Emanuel. You can never have enough good pitching depth, particularly left-handed south poles. You can never have enough of them. And also putting Jalen Ortiz, Luis Garcia, and James MacArthur on the 40-man to avoid the Rule 5 draft, as well as outrunning Andrew Knapp. On the 40-man, I love Knapp as a dude. Whenever you found interviews with him, he was always great, but he wasn't the best player and the most consistent guy. He's a guy that's more of a minor league player, in my opinion, than a guy that's going to consistently stay in the majors or bounce back and forth because he seems to have good rapport with pitchers, but he's nothing more than much that. So it's good to be able to add more catching depth that seems to be progressing at a rate in the previous trade with Nelson and Sands. And then in this move, you got a very good potential solid small move lefty that turns into a nice solid at least Adam Morgan level lefty in my opinion the bullpen with the way he was progressing now working his way back from the PEDs another injury and all that he's going through adversity he's a pretty mature guy from going through that and I think he'll come in and be a pretty solid pitcher and a good solid crafty lefty for this bullpen this is a move that I really like he was impressive in his um, stints. I remember them talking about him on MLB Network a little bit too. When he first came up, he was impressive early on and showed why he was a third round pick. Now it's about us bringing him in and not messing him up and keeping him on track, which is something the Phillies have not done a good job at doing in the past. Like with Alvarado, who just had a very meh year in his first year. We hope they can do it with Ryan Sheriff, who they brought in earlier. We hope they can do it with Nick Nelson. And now we definitely hope they can do it with Ken Emanuel, since he doesn't have the control issues. So if he starts having control issues, then you know the Phillies really have problems with developing pitching. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. As the Phillies claim Ken Emanuel, this is what this video is on, as well as putting Jalen Ortiz, Luis Garcia, and James McCarthy on the 40 man to be able to avoid the rule five draft this has been the latest edition of the sports fact news philadelphia philly show i'm going to put the video on nelson and sands at the end of this if you want to watch that video reacting to that move as i reacted to the emmanuel move and putting the guys on the 40 man in this one go phillies keep making moves let's get to the bigger move category in the near future peace out everybody